Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Joining me today is Andrew from the Andrew Fantasia channel. Also, we could check us both out talking Star Wars on Rebel Scum every once in a while. But today we want to talk a little bit about DC, the state of the DCEU. What the heck is going on with these delays? And is the Snyderverse coming back? Is the reason for this delay in everything? Everything is delayed. Even Super Pets got moved two months for whatever reason. I guess they really like that Shazam or Black Adam release date. So they said, hey, let's put uh, Super Pets there and we'll put uh, Black Adam in uh, October. No one knows what's going on. We know that that uh, the Discovery aspect of it all is going to be playing. And we know that some of those head honchos do enjoy... Um, the Snyderverse stuff that's happening. So now, of course, we all go into Flash. Flash is supposed to come out, and that's going to erase everything that we know about the Snyderverse, Andrew. Flash is coming. Everything is wiped out. There's the rumor, uh, if you believe, I believe it was uh, Grace Randolph said that if you, that it was going to be, there's going to be aspects of, of Man of Steel was still going to be a thing, but anything past that wasn't going to happen. Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 2 were still a thing that happened. Aquaman still happened and Shazam still happened. Flash is now coming out seven months later. For seven months later, and in that seven months, Shazam is moving up six months. So that's coming out early. And then Aquaman. And then we get this Batgirl. Of course, we're not going to forget Batgirl because you know I'm obsessed with it. But Batgirl is also coming out in December. They haven't announced that move at all. And that's got Michael Keaton Batman, who is going to be introduced to us, Andrew, in The Flash. So before we get into the Snyderverse fiasco, how do you feel about the change, the, the delays of the DC? And like a little while ago, they said, no, we've got it. All. Like all of our crap is together. We figured it all out. We've got a plan. The Batman comes and slaughters. It's making money every day. It's doing very well. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, and by the way, everything else is a mess. James, this news story is bananas. It really, I, like, I, I can't find any logical pathway for it to track at all. You're right. It's like this was the year of DC. It really was supposed to be the year of DC. They championed it with this beautiful trailer of like, this is all coming out this year. Look at what you're getting. My oh my, you are in for a treat. And they didn't even have Batgirl in that trailer too. Batgirl was just like a little bonus that they didn't even bring up. And then it's like- Shazam 2 wasn't in that trailer. Shazam, Shazam 2, 2 wasn't. Like granted, Shazam 2 was supposed to be next year. So I understand, yeah, but all right. Like, but <laughs> then, like you said, Batman comes out completely blows the doors off of theaters. Everybody's in love with this film. They are on top of the world right now. Marvel has been quiet for a while, so their main competitor is nowhere to be seen. They have the stage to themselves, and as they are holding up their gold medal of the year, they're saying, hey, just so you know, uh, we can't do any more today. Bye. And they, like, it's, it really blows my it's like an olympic ski jumper doing a fantastic 10 out of 10 ski jump and then when it comes time for their next ski jump they're like no we're not doing it anymore we lied we're just doing the one i am i'm baffled by this and you know you could say that the reasons are just things are not ready whatever but then there's all these reports of people saying um aquaman didn't want to compete with avatar because they were both water-based movies and then the Shazam of it all coming up six months or seven months earlier. It's just like, how was this movie ready? But the flash is not ready. And uh, I mean, the flash, when was the flash supposed to come out? June? I think it was uh, November, November, November. Okay. But the flash is arguably the most important movie that they are making right now, because that is going to spell out for all the very confused fans, exactly what they're trying to do. The Flash is essentially the DC writer's room whiteboard, the movie, and here's what we're going to do. And for them to shuffle that way later into the fold, and and like, I'm just, I don't know, James, I'm at a loss. I'm at yeah, a loss. It's it's supposed to be the movie that kind of changes it all. Unless, of course, Andrew, they've decided that they're not going to change it all. They're going to make changes. Changes are going to come, but
but the Batman was a huge success and it's still going to be a success and how much money ends up making. We don't know, but it, it's a hit, right? Warner brothers has decided this is a hit. It, I think it comes out way too soon. I believe the uh, physical media version of it will be it released in June, but it's streaming on HBO max in April, uh, but it's a hit. They're happy with it and, and all of that stuff. So the, the thing is, is that movie is separate from the Snyderverse, but it's also separate from <clears throat> whatever the hell they're doing now, right? Whatever they're, they're re brand, whatever they're reconfiguring with the flash, that Batman is still separate. That Batman's never going to be in the flash. Matt Reeves have made that very clear. And so if you're doing the flash and then you have Michael Keaton, Batman, Michael Keaton, Batman could exist with Batgirl in that area. But I don't, I've never understood why you, I mean, obviously if Ben Affleck doesn't want to come back, but now he kind of says he might want to come back. I don't understand why you would throw it all away. Like wh why would you not leave the door open for Affleck to return as Batman in that part of the world, in the Aquaman part of the world, in the, in the Shazam part of the world, or maybe Shazam, no, in the Shazam, in the Blue Beetle, anything theatrical should be in one world. HBO Max should be another world separate from the Reeve stuff. The Reeve stuff is all separate. And then you have, and you could play it like that. I just don't understand why you wouldn't keep the door open for him to happen. And now it's, things are happening again with Grace Randolph. She's saying that, you know, she's like Snyderverse, restore the Snyderverse fans. Things are happening. You guys are patient. It's working. It's work. Well, they're not patient, but it's working. You know, it's a long way to go, but it could be happening. Ezra Miller, month like a month ago, we did a video here early on a month ago where he put ha 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 over a picture of Batfleck saying that Ben Affleck was done was done as Batman. He said ha 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 to allude to the fact that maybe he's not done. So maybe these delays aren't for maybe they are for special effects, but maybe they're not for special effects. Maybe they're for something bigger. Maybe they're for oh the door is not going to be closed. We closed the door, but now maybe we should open the door. And there's this whole the purchase merge of with Discovery going on that's happening. That could be played into this where they say, hey, we're coming, but but this, you guys got to figure out the Snyder crap first. You know, you have a huge hit with Batman, congratulations. And, may, you know, the, and maybe Black Adam's fine. Maybe it's not that good. Maybe it's not as good as the Batman. I don't think it would be anyway, but maybe, you know, it's a completely different level. And maybe they think that that could be a black eye on what they're, what they're doing after the Batman in the state, and they all want to keep their jobs. But I think... The flash, you keep the door open. So whatever you're doing, maybe they're gonna, you know, reshoots are a thing. They could just be like, no, we're doing more reshoots. Don't worry about it. You do some more reshoots, and then you know, you let Batfleck, Ben Affleck survive at the end. You don't immediately do another movie with him. You give him some space. But maybe Andrew, maybe the Batman, the Ben Affleck Batman movie, maybe that's in the cards. Maybe, but I I think if they're gonna bring him back, they're they would just stick to Snyderverse at that point, especially because you already have a great Catman solo world that has just taken everybody by surprise now. So let me just clarify this rundown here to make sure I'm getting it right. The original schedule was Black Adam, then Batgirl, then Flash, then Aquaman, then Shazam. Well, Batgirl's different because it's HBO Max exclusive, but it was Black Adam, Flash, Batgirl, Aquaman. Or I don't know, Batgirl and Aquaman were both December because they're not competing. And then Shazam was in June. Shazam was supposed to be in June next year. Now it's December this year. And now the order is Batgirl, Shazam, Black Adam, Aquaman, Flash? No, no, it's, it's Black Adam, Shazam. We'll keep Batgirl out of it. It's Black Adam... Shazam, Aquaman, Flash. It's completely like just whatever. And I think Black Adam's Black Adam. That's fine. I'm starting to think Shazam, because even the first Shazam, it had Superman in it. They mentioned Batman, fine. But that might just be separate enough on its own that it doesn't need the Flash. Same with Aquaman. Those two movies might not need the Flash to, to be a thing. I wouldn't be surprised if Batgirl gets moved. It's weird that they didn't announce it, but I think Batgirl's going to have to get moved. Otherwise, Michael Keaton is just randomly your Batman. Like, like if, if you're making a big deal about Bat about Michael Keaton returning as Batman and you're just going to have him randomly show up in Batgirl on HBO Max, but to me, that just seems so sloppy and lazy and anticlimactic in every way. You got to move Batgirl to after the... Even if it's a day after the Flash releases, you got to have it come out after the Flash 
for that to have any impact. But again, I think though that that uh, they're going to, I think Ben Affleck's Batman is not going to die in the flash anymore. I think there's a really good chance that he's going to, he might die. They might still kill him, but then by the end of the flash, he's not actually dead because time travel reversing, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm starting to think here because I don't know. I just, the delays were strange. They were very strange. Like you said, they did that whole Super Bowl promo that was in front of the Batman that everybody on the planet has now seen I'll hope and I'll like, oh, it's a good year for DZ. And now everything has been delayed. There's got to be a reason. It's got to be more than just we got to work on effects. We got to get it perfect. Like two months, two months for Black Adam to get perfect. I just don't buy that. And then six months less for Shazam too. That makes no sense. There's something bigger at play here. I think they're trying to figure it out. And I think there's a really good shot that the Snyderverse, they're going to somehow finagle Zachary Snyder back and they're going to somehow get some aspect of that going, whether or not it's all he's all in, or maybe I, we talked about this on our super Tuesday show a little while ago. Somebody put a tweet out. I can't remember who, but they, they, they were like theorizing that maybe we get a, a Zack Snyder, a nightmare TV series. And it's just a series about that nightmare universe that we see at the end of his justice league movie. So something's something is going on at DC. And my hope is that they are, figuring it out and that Ben Affleck will return as Batman. I'm okay with having three Batman. I think the more Batman, the merrier because the Reeves Batman is its own thing altogether. And then Michael Keaton, you already got two. So why not just add a third one? Yeah. The Michael Keaton of it all is it's crazy, James, because it's this, like you're saying, it's this thing that's supposed to be the big event of the flash, like a big part of the flash. And like, that would be like (laughs) if they, that would be like if Multiverse of Madness had Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield come back and they moved that movie before No Way Home. Like, it is so contradictory. It is so anti-storytelling. So given the nature of these shifts and given just how bonkers random they feel, I hope you're right. I hope it is because there is something else coming There's a huge change to the plan and they needed to do this to sort some story points out Um, because otherwise it's just dumb. And I'd like to think that even though WB has proven to be pretty dumb in the past, I like to think they're not this dumb. Uh, Another like sort of cross pollination thing that we'd have to consider is Black Adam to Shazam. Now Black Adam is still coming first. But I think we all kind of assumed that Black Adam was going to end with some kind of tease that he will meet Billy Batson and then Shazam 2 will kind of end with some kind of tease where he'll meet Black Adam, right? So are the, they the trying Rock, to push that? The Rock is a producer on Shazam, so that's that's plausible. Par- uh, rumor is that, that Shazam is... Um, being shown now like people are watching it now it's i guess other than effects it's ready to go so i the rock is a producer i think that's a good push because maybe maybe the way they're going to go forward is these movies are connected here aquaman's not really connected to anything so it can live on its own in march stay away from the water but shazam and black adam they work as a great one-two punch and why you know and then maybe the argument is why would you throw in the flash in there if it's just going to kind of mess up what your your what you have going for you, your chemistry between Black Adam and Shazam, right? Why throw something why throw something in the middle and take your audience away from yourself? You're just shooting yourself in the foot by doing that, maybe. The confusing part is moving it all the way to June. I get but the June date is the anniversary of Michael Keaton uh the eighty nine movie. It's the exact day that it came out. Uh, 33 years ago whatever it's been which is who uh, my opinion on that is who cares it's that such a random anniversary that who cares <clears throat> like 30 like congratulate like, great I mean, but it shouldn't come out that day like if that was the plan that would have been different but it's not it's ridiculous there's 52 weeks in a year and shazam has to come out the exact same day as avatar 2 it <laughs> makes no sense to me like it's ridiculous it's, i there's something going on i think those two though they they are married those are very good to have back to back get your excitement up. maybe black adam is really good and maybe shazam 2 is really good and you get the excitement of that going then you go into aquaman 2 and whatever that's going to be and then the flash is going to be the flash and maybe and i i'm guessing the events of these movies you know aren't dictated by the after effects of what we see in flash 
Maybe, and that's kind of, I don't want to say a shame, but Flash is the perfect place to get your ducks in a row. And if they're not going to use that movie to do that, then I don't know if they ever will. Uh, James, by the end of this year, by the end of 2022, that's the year we're in, right? Yeah, I actually have to think about that for a second. By the end of this year, are we finally going to see in the vein of what Feige does with those beautiful PowerPoint print things, are we finally going to see some kind of visual game plan from Warner Brothers to the fans that said, this is what we're doing? Um, I think when the discovery thing happens, I think we'll get a better idea then. I thought that this freaking trailer that we got was that. I did, you know, the, the, the president came out a few weeks ago and said, no, man, they've got a plan and it seems very good. It's, and and now it I don't think it does seem good. I don't even know like it, it, nothing they're doing makes any sense anymore. We're back to square one. The only thing like they released the Penguin news of the HBO Max show, which they already announced like two months ago in December. They were like the Penguins getting a, a show. Now it's announced happens to be announced the same day they delay all of this stuff. I, mm -hmm. I and but they also say you know the other thing that they said was they're going to give it to director first storytelling that's how they're going to do it because the suicide squad because joker and because the batman are so strong and it was director driven peacemaker as well director driven right storyteller driven that's what they said they're going to do um, i don't know maybe the game plan is maybe they just maybe they maybe just want to wipe out all the stuff that happened before it i love the snyder stuff i always have um i'm i'm for more of it i don't know if like i'm kind of tired of every time a, a DC, a Warner Brother movie comes out, everyone's got to go crazy about this. Like this Batman movie comes out, Andrew, and every day Ben Affleck's trending, Snyder's trending. It's like, get over it. Okay, we've got, we have to move, you have to move on. But maybe they don't have to move on. Maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel for the Snyderverse fans, and maybe we're getting it. Maybe the Ben Affleck Batman is going to happen. Maybe it'll be, I think stuff like that should just go straight to HBO Max. They got the money, do it there. That's a perfect time for it. Let the Reef stuff be your theatrical Batman. Let your Ben Affleck be your HBO Batman. Find someone to direct it. I don't know who if he doesn't want to. Maybe he does. Maybe Snyder does. I don't know. I doubt it. But that's that's where I'm seeing it. It just seems it's very frustrating that uh, Marvel has got all their ducks in a row over there. And then over here, it looked like it's like, oh, man, the year of DC is upon us. Yeah. Back, back to being a mess. And that's what's sad because we finally it finally looked like we were getting a year where both of them were firing on all cylinders, right? And how nice that year would have been. Um, I mean, the Snyderverse thing, you know me, I will. I love the Zack Snyder cut so much, even though even I think it could have been shorter. Uh, there is a lot of slow motion. And sometimes you just don't need to see Aquaman slowly walk off a pier because it's not really important. Uh, <laughs> But I do love the hell out of that movie. And if for nothing else, it would be nice to give Ray Fisher his due. Because uh, that dude rocks. And his cyborg is one of the best characters that the DC movies have given us. Uh, and to, you know, right now they have no plans to touch him at all. So if the Snyderverse exists in whatever form it exists, at least it lets him take that character wherever he wants to take it. And same with Darkseid. I mean, everybody wanted to see Darkseid. He's the ultimate bad guy. Why would you just throw him away? Uh, so to get these huge pieces of the DC world that were thrown away, I feel like that's what I want to see more than Batfleck. Uh, as much as I like Batfleck, it's like we will have a Batman. You're never going to be deprived of Batman. But we live in a world right now that is very scarce on dark sides and cyborgs. So why not let that be the catalyst to move this Snyder thing forward? And Cavill. Because, I mean, Cavill, losing Cavill as early as we lost him, I think is... Like, that's the best Superman, man. I don't care what anybody says. That is the yeah. best Superman we've Absolutely. ever had. Hands down, I don't think Cyborg... I, Cyborg could be the crux of it all where, you know, it's like, I'll come back if Cyborg. But Cyborg, well, until some people have left Warner Brothers, Cyborg will never... 
it will never be Ray Fisher cyborg ever again. And I think as long as Ray Fisher is around, it will never be a cyborg in live action. Unfortunately, because that character was fantastic in the Zack Snyder cut. But that's where we're going to end this conversation right now. DC is a mess. We'll begin talking about it a lot on this channel. Andrew, thanks for joining me. Where can everybody find you? You can find me right here, sitting in my chair. Uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel, Andrew Fantasia, and on Instagram at Andrew underscore Fantasia. And uh, what am, I don't have anything going on on the YouTube channel right now, but it's almost the end of March, which means it's almost time for my uh, quarterly review marathon, where every three months I watch as many movies as possible that I've never seen before. But the rule is they have to be movies that are over a year old. So lots of crazy things that you'll be like, wow, he's never seen that. Um, spoilers, all the Bourne movies are in this one because uh, I've never seen them. And also, you can buy my book Side Scroller on Amazon right now. It's orange. You can. So you know it's it good. Do you have it in front of you? Uh, no, it's at, on an unreachable bookshelf right now. Yeah, mine's over there. I can't reach it either. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And until next time, oh, and let us know what you think of the Snyderverse. Is it going to come back? Do you want it to come back? May you be the master of your own universe.